Welcome back, Whippersnappers. This is Gramps. We are continuing on with Dave the Diver. We're about to hop into day nine, and we had a great night last night. Had some good stuff going on, so that was good. And here is what we've got now. Uh, Dr. Bacon showing up, and he's going to get us some more gear so we can try to communicate with the sea people. Of course, he had to help Duff, which means we get to speak with Duff about it. But he's telling us good news this time. So he is telling us that he is now able to upgrade and enhance our guns. That is huge. Very helpful. I guess thank you, Duff. Yes, goodbye, Eternity. And unfortunately, that was all we got of that episode. Um... This is Gramps coming to you in the future. I messed up. So all the footage that we had for this episode got recorded incorrectly and is unusable. I've got audio only of it. And I just, unfortunately, then I've recorded another episode after and I saved over, you know, the old save files. So noob moment for Gramps. I'm really sorry, but all this rotten technology is just too much for me. I'm just kidding. Uh, I was just dumb. So anyway, let me tell you quickly what happened, then we're going to get on to this next episode. I am... Um, we had a couple visitors to the restaurant. Uh, one was Maki, this young lady who yells at us through a puppet. And then we had a, a boisterous older man named Otto, who's telling us stories about wanting to eat more eels. So we're going to go searching for those ingredients to cook dishes for those two people at the bar. Uh, there's no time limit on those. We did research both those recipes. And then we went and did some more work with the sea people. We got to a point where they are... Um, we're moving along, and uh, we need to break some boulders away. And so Dr. Bacon is going to make us a pair of fancy gloves that we can use. That's really the, the basic stuff that happened. Uh, we didn't make a ton of money because um, we didn't... Let's see, we did have the restaurant open. Um, but we are coming back in, and now we're about to do our first night dive so that's where we are so sorry about that it's a noob moment for me i apologize let's get going now with our next episode right now welcome back whippersnappers it's gramps with dave the diver so this is our going to be our first nighttime dive we've are tasked with finding some moray eel now we've seen the moray eels before they are hidden in those in the rocks and the crags. So I'll tell you some stuff. Let's talk about nighttime diving. <laughs> nighttime diving, everything wants to kill you. All of the fish are aggro. So you need to be prepared for that. We've got our quad axle gun. So that's good. Uh, doing an evening dive, the restaurant doesn't open without you. So doing an evening dive just takes away basically a third of your restaurant time. So it'll be a smaller catch. It'll be a smaller evening at the restaurant. So that's okay. We don't have to do this right now, but we're gonna. And if we see some white trevally, we'll try to catch those too. What's going on under here? I think we've just got a new phone number. Yes, Udo. Okay. And Eco Watcher, we can turn in some shells. Okay. Good, good. Let's do this. Uh, there is nothing left to buy. Uh, you can't buy anything from the shop at night. All you can do is make sure you're, you've got your weapon. And we're good to go. So it's all the same things. They're just a couple different things at nighttime. Okay. 
these guys. You see this gang of fish right here? So you, oh, you want them to group up. And once they all group up, then you use the knife. See how you're doing all that damage. Ugh, oh, jeez. so bad excellent okay that does it for those guys the long spine squirrel fish uh, here's a new rifle we don't need that we're just gonna disassemble it. it takes a while for all those long spine squirrel fish to uh, register and we're looking for more eel uh, let's see what's in this. Hopefully a scooter. Or oxygen. Oxygen works. Alright, here we go. More AEL. Switch into the quad. The quattro. Oh, that shot. I was too close. It went through him. <laughs> Gotcha. All right. So now I think that's yeah three pieces of meat. We only needed two. We're good to go. But I'm gonna see if we can get some trevally. If there's any. So we've got this as a new jellyfish for us. Oh great, and we're out of ammo. So there's a black tip shark, similar to our friend the white tip shark. Not, not a lot in there. There's a starfish, but now also one thing to mention is that leaving, you know, if if we were to leave the water right now, it wouldn't open the restaurant any earlier. It's still, we're still opening the restaurant with two-thirds of the night left. So, no, I mean, while we're, since we're already under here, we might as well get our money's worth. Oh my god, these bastards again. Okay, we need to get some oxygen. There's some ammo. Oh, hello, Sharky Shark. Oh, well, this is good kelp. Oh, yeah, we need kelp, for, I think, for her meal. Even though we already had some. Oh, my. Just stop. Just go away. All right, that's the way. I normally would go after him, but we're so low on oxygen. We do have a container a canister up oh, there's one right there perfect timing okay I don't think there's any trevally at night maybe this is looks like a cuttlefish but it's not it's just a little stabby annoying fish and you can again you can see that he does his little animation before he actually charges at you. That gives you time to get away, because once they do that, they're pretty well committed to where they're going to whoosh to. Coming into some limestone caves. Alright, at least we'll get some fossils out of this. Leg bone. We need. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, when we see a uh, an escape pod, we'll we'll bail out. There we go. 
We'll grab that pink seashell first. So we can at least make the dinner for Otto. Okay, so let's head over there, get a menu going, and open up this night. Oh, oops, okay, we don't want to open up yet. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the moray eel curry on the menu. Then we're going to, let's do these guys. That one's auto supply. That's 225 each, that's good. Good number. Actually, we're going to turn auto supply off on that one because it already makes five dishes and it's a shorter night, so that will be fine. Now, let's look in here. Let's do a quick change of sort. We're going to sort by taste. And right now, this green humphead parrot fish sushi has a taste of 115. And you remember to get to our next level, you want to have a taste of 125. So let's look at enhancing it. Enhancing brings it to 138. Let's do it. Boom. Now let's look at our cooks to app. Rank up. Look at that. We hit it. So all we need now, and we've researched those recipes, so all we need now are uh, 19 followers, and we're good to go. So we want to have a good night. I'm going to go back, though, to sorting by price. And we'll put this guy up there. Again, there's five in there. There's four in here. We can enhance that, and sure enough, we can enhance again. Okay. We are all set. Uh, let's do a quick look at staff. Oh, yeah, we could hire somebody, but we wouldn't be able to use them yet. So let's skip it and get going first thing he's gonna make is that more eel curry they want us to take it out to him Taste I remember. Mm. <laughs> Nothing brings it back like more eel. Now he wants to, to us to come and see him in the empty lot behind the building. That doesn't sound nefarious at all. Got the restaurant open. Let's keep it going. Oops. Oops, I didn't mean to grab that. Oh, she, okay, Kyoko actually does serve beer. That's good to know. So you can see Maki is still sitting here asking for her dish, which, sorry, my dear, that's not going to come tonight. Uh Jeez, that took forever. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was trying to serve and it kept trying to open up Maki's dialogue. Okay, five oh we made nine twelve, which is down from last night, but last night was crazy, so and we again we had a shorter night so that's really not bad we did good
Okay, Otto, giving us a call. He wants us to go check things out. Oh, let's hop on cook stuff first. You know, you got to wake up in the morning. Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> We're in tutorial mode. So look at this. There's a new icon that we can drive to. It looks like fish. I wonder what it is. It's a fish farm. So he's he works quickly. He made this in one day. So there are different sections of fish based on their uh, the depth that they swim at. Once the density, the number of fish in that area reaches 100%, then it cannot carry any more fish. <laughs> we can pay money to expand them. And we can look inside them. So we already have some fish in there. The other thing is we want to have pairs of fish at least. So when you've got multiple fish you can um then they can they'll breed and they'll they'll multiply so we can grab the fish from there and we can send them into the kitchen or we could sell them now that net gun that we've got going on or i can't remember now if we have it unlocked or not that is super helpful for for this Okay, so we've got we have two of the spaces open uh, up to 130 meters, and we can you can see here we can open up the other areas at substantial cost, or we can expand the areas that we already have at a little bit lower cost. We're not going to worry about that right now. Then this section down here at the bottom is just for the nocturnal fish. So now we can go back between boat, sushi, and the fish farm. Here comes Dr. Bacon. With the diving gloves, yay! And more tutorial. Okay, so you see there's a little piece of wood right here. I'm going to swim by this pile of rocks. I'm going to pick one up with the right mouse button. And swim up here and let go. Whee! Crash. Ah, the old anchor. So here is... We're going to use the right mouse button. Oh, white mouse button and the space bar, <laughs> apparently. And we're going to come up here to the stake, just like we saw under the water. And a little space bar game. And there's treasure up here. Yay! A silver bowl. Alright. So if you're thinking what I was thinking when I got to this stage, those gloves look like they could pick up the uh, purple urchins. And you would be correct. Alright, Cooksta, let's come in here quickly. Give some thumbs ups. And Eco Watcher, we can turn some junk in. All right, let's do this. Okay, we are going to head down there. We are, uh, it's daytime, 
And so I'm also looking for some of the white Trevally, which I think I know what it looks like. Oh my. Those are mackerel or bonito. I mean, we're, we're going to stop for sea, seashells. I mean, we're only human after all. And if we see any of the uh, fossils. So what I'm saying is we're going to stop for everything. <laughs> More kelp. They really want us to have kelp. Whoa! Yeesh! He just charged us. Oh, we kind of want to kill that barracuda, too. That's nice with the sword, we can get both of those. See what's in here. Alright, I'm just not gonna disassemble stuff. Let's keep it going. Oh, hello, hello. That's the white Trevally. And we're out of ammo. So we're left to our harpoon. Ah, oh, they seem very harpoonable. That one had a little damage on it, so that's why it was easier. Excellent. And yeah, so we've got enough meat for that. Excellent. We are good to go. The little girl's going to be happy. Tiger Shark's going to be happy if he eats us. Let's not make him happy. Not gonna worry about getting any more of those. Let's get some oxygen. There's some ammo. Good. And we really don't need any more kelp. So we're gonna cruise on down. Start pulling out stakes. Now this guy, sorry, since we have this glove, see now we can pick up this rock and watch what we can do here. Bonk. Now that guy's not as annoying. We've got a stargazer tooth, which Looks like it's good for a uh, an upgrade of some form. Of course, the Starkazer is very heavy. <laughs> uh, so that's just going to weigh us down. So I'm going to drop it. Boom. All right. We'll have plenty of time to catch Stargazers by bonking them over the heads later. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh. A pile of rocks moving around. What could be going on down here? Our little octopus friend. Swoosh. Hmm. 
There's a piece of wood blocking the way and a bunch of rocks. I wonder what we should do. Well, we broke it. We weakened it. Certainly another hit should do it. Excellent. And we're good on ammo. I'm going to grab this oxygen just because. And we're going down the hole. Because that's the uh, same direction for Ramo, anyway. How dare you! <laughs> for such a little octopus, he certainly is carrying a lot of junk. Swam is over here to the left. I oh, know, there's one of those jerk exploding fish. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta take a hit. But since we're here, we can reoxygenate. Okay, so, again, people ragging on Dave. So we're going to try and pull the stake out with those gloves. That's right up here. That is. And again, we've got this little space bar game. Just want the space bar in the red in the red space. Alright, we turned a pile of rocks into another pile of rocks! There's one over there. Okay, so we're gonna cruise over here, take a look. So we need to get up and around to the other side of it. Let's see if there's anything over here. Ah, our friends, the jellies. And then that's a cookie cutter shark. here. Okay, I think hitting escape lets us uh, pause the game. <laughs> so I'm going to drop these jellyfish and sort by weight. Drop that. I'm going to drop the barracuda too. That gets us under weight. Okay, now we're good to go. I really want this guy because that's some good eating there. Okay, and let's check the weapon cache, if we can do it without alerting. The whole world. No, just a hush dart. We don't need that. Okay, and can we go up? Uh, we cannot. Uh, and then it's an exploder. Ah, here's a little shaft. That's good. Oh no. <laughs> you can hear him explode off in the distance. Okay, so we're going to come up here and hopefully there will be a stake or something to be able to dislodge 
those rocks. Grab that oxygen. Yep. Oh, oh, jeez. Jerk. Got it. Not sure how that stake was actually holding those rocks in place, but okay, we'll give it to him. Now we've got a huge hole. We're just trying to get out of here, but she wants us to come to the Sea People Village. I'm sure Dr. Bacon would want us to go. Do we have to carry her still, or is she able to swim on her own now? Now one thing, it's another. That looks fun. <laughs> How come I've got to be out here all by myself? Oh yay, dangerous creature's presence. That's always a wonderful thing. Okay, so we're in the deep sea cave. Why is there debris like this so deep? Oh, I see some anchors. Does that maybe give you a hint of what's about to happen? I'm going to head up for the... So hitting the space... tapping the space bar and holding on to the anchor. Oh good, we've got some... Oh my. Eesh. What do we have in our little weapon dealie? Sniper rifle, eh? You know what? Using our little sniper rifle there to shoot the green spot on his tail. Oh. Ugh. Um, I'm just going to use this oxygen because... Okay. Oh, here he comes. I'm looking for that big old greeny. Got it. Okay, now I'm going to stay up here. Like I should have last time, you see him coming in on the right. And we still have one shot left on the sniper rifle. Oh no. Okay. So now is he going to come in from this side again? Oh, oh no. Okay, got 
got more ammo swinging up towards the top. Uh, I wasn't able to catch the anchors. And we're going to see him back over here again. Yep. There's more ammo. And more oxygen. Oh, hello, oxygen. Okay. A couple of shots to the tail. And you get the wiggly wolf eel. Yes, he was about to come and defeat it. Thanks, Swam. Mmm, wolf eel tail meat. Wolf eel gills. So we're gonna swim over here to this gate. Oh my goodness, she's got the key. Oh my goodness. The Sea People Village. And of course we're instantly suspicious. Yeah, this is another one that's running a little long, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just keep getting dragged from one thing into another. Here's her dad. So yes, the humans cannot be trusted to take care of the ocean. That's pretty well known. So, what he's telling us now is that we have to earn the village's trust. So yes, we're going to be the gopher for the village for a while. But we did get a sea people mirror, which is helpful. Okay. Oh, that's right. Bonus 15% of gun base damage added, which is good to go. We're going to go ahead and equip that. So we can only go to the Sea People Village during the daylight. 
It's only in the morning or afternoon sessions. And in the evening, in fact, you can't even swim down that low. Oh, no. Okay. So this is getting into the whole uh, epic, epic cutscene. We are going to skip all of this, and we're going to call it a night. So we'll be back tomorrow. We will finally, I guess tomorrow night, get to feed Maki her special dish, and uh, we will keep going on, and then we'll start probably running some chores for the sea people. So again, thank you for joining. This is Gramps. We're in Dave the Diver. Come on back, and we'll keep chugging along.